How are we doing guys? Don't know if you will be able to hear me over the waterfalls here. Eh, uh, decided to come back out another wee walk today. Not a Monroe this time, it is uh, Ben Cluck at the Oakle Hills. Just uh, at Tillicutry. Brought the dog with me. Here's Mila. Look at these waterfalls, they're absolutely stunning. Beautiful. So I, we're going to take a wee walk up here today. See what like as, as I say, it's not quite a Monroe, but gets the legs working, gets some fitness about me, because it did take me slightly longer than you expected to recover for that first Monroe, just out of the aches and pains in the legs. So, hi, we'll see how we go. hazy this morning, a wee bit moisture in the air but it's not raining, I've got my windbreaker in the bag and uh, I will take it to there, see you along the way. Honestly, just to be a bit careful, I had to put the dog on the lead for this bit because as you can see the path is just totally eroded away. She managed fine. You just get this wee bit here to walk along. Probably when the water's a bit calmer. Doesn't seem as bad. But as you can see it is running pretty fierce today. See if like upstairs. Once we got up here I'll let her free again. Let's crack on, we're having fun. Right guys, we've made it through, went to call the Glen, and uh, this is apparently what the locals call the bastard. So, yes, we're going to make our way up there. And we Mila. You good girl? Oh, you having fun? Yes she is, she's having a ball. I actually tackled some of the rock climbs a bit better than me. Mila, come here. So well behaved. So nice. Right guys, we're going to crack on. See you in a bit. I understand why the bus, why the locals call that route the bastard. I am absolutely cunted. And look at this, ready to go. And you stops for nothing. We mountain dog in the making right there. Right, next step. Up into the clouds. I'll see you there, guys. Clouds seem to be rolling on a wee bit, guys. Nothing to worry about, it's not overly thick. They're heading up the way, so I'm guessing it might actually just be clearing for the morning. Just taking a wee breather. Magnificent though. Absolutely stunning. You can see that. Woof. We're still going guys, currently in the clouds but as you can see the path's prominent enough 
that feel is more than safe to carry on. I'll find my way back, no problem. Easy enough path up here to follow. It's oh, been a good one. Been a challenge again. We are just taking our time, taking it easy. Because the clouds came in, I don't know just where the top is yet. Came across a couple of false summits, you know, just to get your hopes up. You're like, we're getting there, we're getting there. Bastard. But we are charging on. As you can see, it's a nice enough path up here. Good footholds along the way. Nothing too treacherous. And you know, always got plenty of grass to walk up. Save a wee pause. And you hen, is she having fun? Is she good fun? So, hopefully next time I see you guys, we're at the top and it's a bit clearer. Because as it stands now, I've got a 40 with a trig point and that'll be about it. See you soon. Very stream we follow here. Wonderful spot where it starts, where the source of this is. Is it an actual stream or has it been lying snow that's now defrosting? Who knows? It doesn't look as though it's been a constant streamer because this is all grass so it might actually just be for some of the snow further up defrosting then it picks its best route down just as well it didn't freeze overnight otherwise this is doing fun Yes, we've kind of came into the clouds. Lost for start, not lost, but you know what I mean. It's now no longer in view. A wee bit further down, we could still see where we started. But as I say, the path's very easy to follow. Still got plenty of visibility round about me, so nothing to be too concerned about. <sighs> Hello sheep, don't mind us. Right, let's crack on. How we doing guys? That is us at the top of what they call the law. I think it's about 638 metres height. Uh, so we're just going to follow this path that you can just see. And this should take us round across the ridge, which should lead up to Binkluck. So hopefully see you there. If we can see anything that is. Still a lot of cloud about here. Uh, a lot of moisture in the air, but it's dry. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not needed for a any waterproofs or anything like that. It's not as if I've got any rain. So yes, I've got still got a bit of line snow up here, right enough. Not much, maybe look. Like, you'd maybe get a snowball fight with a team of two if you were lucky. A couple of shots each. But yes, we shall plod on. 
fingers crossed the cloud burns away by the time I hit Cluck just to catch some of the views from there but feeling that it's still a still a nice walk the bastard was a bastard legs felt that one I'm not going to lie I stopped a couple of times needed to but this is just nice and this is a nice cool down there now before we see what comes across us But yes, have fun. See ya. Here we go, guys. Checkpoint. The top of the clue. Unfortunately, can't really see much with the cloud. You can probably hear the wind blowing in. Indicator was removed from Ben Clue for restoration during May 1988 by Venture Scouts from Cluck Manon as a project to commemorate the 21st anniversary of Venture Scout in UK. I got more views and freeze and that, but the weather's decided otherwise. I'm going to get myself sorted. Some water, a wee bit of soup, and crack on down. Uh, I don't have decided if I'm going back down the way I came up or if I'm following round the whip. Following around a loop, there'll be more footage. If not, I'll be using an update back to the car. See you soon. How we doing, guys? So, we've opted to continue around the loop. Uh, guy I met up at the trig point says it's a, it's a nice walk, it takes you through some woodlands near the end, so quite good at that. Thought that rather than just heading straight back down the way we came up. So it should be good. I think it takes you over. Well, I think we've actually just come over. Ben Ember, I think it's called, or Ben Ender. Can't remember. I will put a wee fucking text across the bottom. But I also want to take the time to point out that uh, these regatta boots have really held up well. Now, look how wet it is. Now this isn't too bad considering how some it's been and believe it or not my feet are still dry so yes money well spent on these regatta boots can't remember the exact brand but they've held up really really well obviously they, they've done well with Ben Vorlick because at the end of it my feet were absolutely fine they weren't sore at all and that was the first time I'd really wore them but that was pretty much dry the whole way so this is the first time they've experienced any of the wet. So it is, so yes, Mila's boots, I don't know how they've held up. Oh wait, she ain't got any. <laughs> She's still loving it. So yes, we'll crack on a wee bit and I'll catch you in a bit. Right guys, currently at the summit of Ben Ever. Took us a wee bit longer than expected because due to this weather I actually I'm going to admit to you, I lost my bearings. Which is a bit silly because I've got everything I need with me. I've got my map, I've got my, my route guide and I've got a compass and all that, but I just followed the path, turned out to be the wrong path and went down over I thought it was actually here. Uh, 
We are with me guys. I will bring up the route map. So I actually ended up at Ben Buck as well. And it wasn't until I came upon a, a wind farm. And I thought there was no mention of wind farms on the route. And then I checked the map and seen that I'd went about probably about a good mile the wrong way. So we had to double back to pretty much almost the summit of Ben Clue again and head slightly southwest. The thing being as well is when we got there, I knew in my head I thought I've been walking the completely opposite direction for where the car's parked. You know, my own internal compass told me that, but for some reason. I thought I was following the path, but it turned out to be the wrong path. So here we are, it's still very, very cloudy, very foggy, so it's very easy to lose your burns in conditions like this. Now bear in mind, I'm in no way experienced in this. This is my second attempt. Obviously the first one was Ben Vorlich, which was very clear. Cracking day, perfect weather for it pretty sure that if it was clearer up here and you could see where you were heading it would have given me more of an idea of what path I should have been taking but we're still we're still plodding on it's not put us back any well it has kind of but it's not put us off and there we go <laughs> she's having a lie down oh so yes so we're going to have a wee a wee refreshment stop, bag up again, and crack on that way. See you soon. Bye. Well, guys, we've eventually made it down out the clouds. <laughs> Folk always say I had my head in the clouds. So, yes. My final descent back down the way. Uh, according to the guide, that should take us down to some woodlands, which I'm guessing is sort of the trees that you might be able to see just down there. And then cut back across towards where the car's parked. Very nice walk. It would have been so much nicer if uh, it was clear. I could see because apparently the views up there are meant to be fantastic. You can actually see right across to the Cairngorms and that. Uh, but no, good day being had. You know, it's not even as much as it was maybe a wee bit wet, but it was more just the moisture and the and the fog and the clouds. We've not really had any rain or that, so that was a bonus. So, I'll give you an update in a bit. See you. As you can see, guys, the rain came on a wee bit. Just a wee bit drizzle, nothing put us off. So, we're still descending down uh, from Silver Glen. I'm sure that's Alva down there. And, uh, the route takes us, apparently this path winds down. There's been quite a few folk coming down on the mountain bikes. Must be quite a good route up over the Ockles. Uh, and then it cuts through the trees to what I've seen. And we'll take us back to where we started. So, all good. So here we are guys, we're just cutting through 
and it says what's known as Silver Glen. Apparently it got its name Silver Glen because there's some old silver mines about here. I did get a 40 one just at the waterfalls there. So, uh, gated off anyway. Uh, but no doubt there's been some wannabe heroes made their way in there. We better investigating. <laughs> I'm not really up for that today. We will just crack on this way. Just a nice forest walk. And Mila's having fun. Tail's still going. <laughs> <laughs> 